everyone. Now, a little while ago, admittedly, um, quite a while ago, one of you guys asked if I could make a tutorial on how to make my music mods, well, how to make music mods in general. And for a time I was wondering if this was a good idea, because it's sort of, you know, a bit of, not really a secret, but just, you know, something that sort of makes my channel slightly popular, is having these music mods that I can, um, that I can play around with. Well, not play around, but I can release to the public, rather. And it sort of, you know, might reduce popularity, but I think it's kind of unfair not to tell people how to do these music mods. Because I can't cater to everyone's needs. I make music mods that suit my own personal, um, interest. So, um, say you want to make a heavy metal music mod. I simply don't like heavy metal. I don't have anything against it. It's just not, I don't enjoy that kind of music. But you might want to make a heavy metal music mod, and you are not going to get one from me, because, quite frankly, I use music that I enjoy. I, I would not be able to make a, a good music mod out of music that I don't like. So anyway, um, now I will go on to teaching you how to actually make one of these music mods. Okay, so to start off, what we need, what you need to do is download this Nano Pizzas mod design resources. Uh, that'll be probably on Mega when I have finished this video. There'll be a link in the description, so look there. Um, so you need to download these, and what you have is the folder layout. We'll go over what that all means later. You'll have an old version of FMod Designer. I don't actually know how to use a new version. I have tried looking around, and it honestly makes no sense, and I cannot comprehend how to even begin using it. So um, I've just enclose this really old version of FMod Designer. If you are experienced with FMod Designer, I'm sure you could probably make that work with um, the current version. And you also need the FMod Design template, which is, you know, what actually tells FMod how to, you know, play this music in the game. So, now that you've got those resources, we need to actually start. So what you do is go into this folder, Perhaps make a backup of this, if you want to make more than one music mod, you might want to, you know, make a backup of this folder layout, it's no biggie, but what you'll have, you'll have Battle, Defeat, Draw, Garage, Login, Preloading, Victory, and Z, Possible's just Z, so it's right at the bottom. Um, so, a quick overview of what they actually are, these are when this particular piece of music is going to play in, you know, the mod. So say battle, that's the music you want to play in the battle. Defeat, it's going to play when you lose a game. Draw, it's going to play when you draw. Garage, it's what's going to play in your um, garage while you're you know, looking at all your tanks. Simple enough. Login is the main menu screen. Preloading, now that is um, that is what plays before you, um, while, you while a battle is loading up. So in that 30 second countdown, generally lasts about 45 seconds in total. Uh, victory see if you can guess, and possible is just, it, this is not necessary, it's just um, tracks that I can't find out, can't really think where to put them, so I just put them in this folder until I um, either decide to keep them or, um, or get rid of them. Okay, so now that you have got all your music and sound definitions sorted out, what you need to do is you need to first in well, extract FMod Designer to somewhere. So, say, just extract it to somewhere you need your programs. It's already got all the files and it should run the second it's um, extracted somewhere. It's not a particularly big program, but it does the job well. Um, so, just, I don't know, extract the program wherever you want it, whether that's in program files or in this little folder or on your desktop or whatever. Extract that to where you want it, then you can open the program up. But before we open it up, we need to do fmod music template. We need to oh, we need to copy that. Just control C and control V it and paste it somewhere. You don't want to um you don't want to extract this file because you want to keep it in here because um the the file will keep changing. You'll always open that file with fmod designer unless you specify another file and that file will auto save. So it'll pretty much overwrite that file and you won't be able to make other music mods off of the program. 
So, um, so yeah, so you want to keep one in that, and whenever you want to make a new music mod, you need to go back and use a zipped one and extract it again. Or you can just, um, once it, you've set it all up, you can just double click that whenever you want, but, um, don't worry about what I just said there, that made no sense. <laughs> so, um, so once you've got that and it's extracted, you want to go over to FMod Designer, or you can just double click it, I'm not sure if it auto sets up the um, file associations if you install it in the way I did. So what you do is um, find wherever you installed FMod, I believe it's here for me. Uh, fmoddesigner.exe, don't worry about that, that shouldn't come up for you, if it does just don't worry about it, just do what I did. Open project, find wherever you pasted that, um, oops, that template, in that case it's there for me, and now you have opened the music template. So you'll be seeing all this and you'll be thinking, what on earth do I do with all this? But I have actually made it quite easy for you guys. I've linked up all the events, you don't need to worry about relinking these like I did too when I first had to this. Um, template was originally made by Noble Platoon, that's who I learned to do the music mods off, so kudos to him. I did not make this template, I've slightly modified it to make it a little smooth and a little easier for you guys, but um, the work was his, so I'm not claiming to have made this template myself. I've just kind of made it a little easier. However, um, say some of these you might want to have separated, so I'm not sure where all these actually link up to, I'm guessing it would be relatively self-explanatory. Like I would guess that will kind of link to El Haluf, Sound, Sand River, that kind of thing. Kavaz, Kavkaz rather, have no idea. Maybe that was an old working name for one of the maps or something. Himmelsdorf, Malinovka Village, Euro Village, that kind of thing. These are all linked to the same definition, which is Intro Himmelsdorf. So you only need to put them into this one for um, them to play those tracks. But if you wanted to separate these out and say have different things for intro to Himmelsdorf and different things for Malinovka. What you'd need to do, you need to go to see how intro Malinovka is linked up to event editor intro Himmelsdorf. What you could do is you could, um, uh, how do we do this again? Have done stages. That's right, you um, replace it, you could replace that back up to intro Himmelsdorf and now they would be separate events. But for the sake of this mod and the sake of, you know, in fact, most people just want everything the same. We'll link it up to him, Intro Himmelsdorf. Um, same with the premium garage and non-premium garage. If you wanted separate sounds for the premium da the damage, the premium garage, you do the same thing. So um, sound definitions. Now this is the actual music where you add it. But actually, there's one thing we forgot to do, and what you need to do is go to audio source directory here. And you need to find wherever your music mod is. Now it's kind of annoying having to use these kind of limited file browsing things a lot of programs do, but hey. Oops. So, uh, where did I find it? Oh, that's where that thing went. <laughs> Never mind, that's not my own problem. But uh, what you need to do is you need to find wherever you put your music mod if I stop having it brain fart and remember where, oh that's right, in there, Bioware music mod, and you just go to the directory which houses all the folders, you don't need to go into individual folders, so go there, now it's all linked up to there, and, it'll be able, and you can um, find all your files then, build directory, that will be where your music mod actually builds, so you should put that somewhere, wherever you want, uh, I'll just put it on the desktop for the sake, it's easier to show, see where everything is, and to show you guys, uh, you don't need to worry about any of these. That is uh, all fine. So now we go to sound definitions, and because this bit is quite easy to mess up, you might want to um, save your music mod at this point. So save project. It will be saved to that thing. So um, don't save until you've got all things, because it's quite easy to mess up this bit. And as far as I can tell, you can't actually undo any of the stuff that you do here. So just make sure you save at this point, and um, I'm going to just stop the recording for a second in case I do mess up. <laughs> Alright, so um, just to clarify, the messing up isn't because it's hard or hard to comprehend or anything, it's just, you know, you can get clumsy with it. It shouldn't really be too much of a problem. So what we need to do is you need to right-click the respective one of these, 
So main menu is what I've named. If we just pull up the um, just pull up the file system here. Uh, what I main menu is what I've main, named login. Lobby is what I've named garage. Combat is what I've named battle. Victory, you know, same thing. Defeat, same thing. Draw, it, draw and games, what I've named draw. And intro Himmelsdorf is what I've named preloading. Now, if you are doing um, separate things, you may want to separate them out. But, um, you know, I'm not really showing you this in this um, thing. If people want further clarifications, just ask me in the comments, and I should be able to um, help you through that additional few steps. So, um, now that we have these pulled up, let's just close that, and we will um, go on to put our music events here. So what you need to do is you need to click Add Wavetable, you need to go into the respective folder, so in that case, look at main menu, so that will be Login, Start Screen Soundtrack, go to Lobby, once again, Add Wavetable. Um, that's right, <laughs> lobby. And what you can do, you don't have to put these in individually, you can just shift or control select them to get, or you can just drag a box around them to get all of them at the same time. Now, um, I use MP3s, it seems like all these files will work just fine, I've never tried it, so um, I would recommend using um, using MP3s if you can, because it's just it's just easier for the sake of following this tutorial, but it should work with any of these folders. Sorry about the um, steam pop up there. <laughs> should have turned it off, but oh well. How unprofessional. <laughs> so just drag and drop, well don't drag and drop all these, just take all these, open, and you'll see them all down there with a the play percentage. That means, you know, they even play percentage. You can change the percentages if you want, so you could have this playing 61% of the time. I always just have them even. Uh, if I can work out what even was again. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can find this. It's quite hard to actually get them even again. Uh, that'll do. Whatever. <laughs> Close enough. But you can mess around with those percentages. I, I have never actually messed around with those percentages before. I didn't even um, think of doing that until now. But um, there you go. You learn something new every day. Combat. Same thing again. Uh, battle, victory, just quickly pop all these in, defeat, at wave table, draw game, and oops, wave table, and to draw, this effect actually has a surprisingly large amount of good drawn, drawn, drawn game tracks. Uh, and intro. Take all these ones. And if you're doing these, they're not linked up to anything at the moment. Well, they're all linked up to that. That's linked up to that. Up to that, rather. So, um, you don't need to do any of these ones, assuming you've linked them all up and you kept it the same as I did to start off with. Now that you've got all these, you may want to adjust these a bit. This is, this is how it plays, so I'll go through the Sequential means it will play... Actually, let's go to a slightly better example. Sequential will mean it will play, um, you know, in sequence, so that will play, then that will play, then that will play in battle. You don't really want this for a battle mode, because, you know, that's just not a very good way of having it. Um, sequential event restart. I am not actually sure what that one is, to be honest. Random just means it'll pick any random track. It, I'm guessing it means it can pick the same track twice as opposed to shuffle, which is just it picks a random track. Now, random no repeat doesn't mean that um it won't repeat, like I mentioned before. Random no repeat, from what I have seen, means that um it will be random. So it'll pick a random track, but it won't play a track after it's picked that random track. So you only really want that for um the intro. And let's just sign out of Skype for the moment so that doesn't happen again. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Victory is um, 
same thing. Defeat, same thing. Intro, same thing. You know, I have put them all so you want them, so you don't really need to adjust these unless you have a particular preference for how your tracks play. Uh, now you want to do is you want to go to wave banks, and you need to. Is this a very important step? You need. Oops. You need to go back to that. There we go. You need to rename this to just music, and you want to change bank type. Change bank type to load into memory, and you want the compression as MP3, and you want to change the max streams to 20. So music is the rename. Load into memory. MP3 compression quality that actually doesn't just leave that at 50 the music sounds just fine regardless of what compression quality you have I haven't seen a noticeable difference and max streams up to 20 so be sure to do all that or your music mod just simply won't work so um, here's all your tracks if you're having any um, if you're having any ones in here that are red that um, may mean you'll just have to rebuild your mod from that's why I asked you to save earlier that can go wrong if I think that when generally when that happens it means it's to do with your um to do with the file types so and make sure it's one of the supported file types and if that doesn't work make sure it's mp3 because I don't really have problems with mp3 sometimes it just doesn't work and you just have to restart it and it works just fine but um but yeah so now you have got all of this stuff you don't need to worry about reverb profile or music that's not a problem once all of this is done you've got all the tracks you want all the sound definitions all the things sorted out event editor you fixed all of that and you put your build directory i think if um, you don't specify a build directory it just builds to wherever this is i'm pretty sure that's what it does so what you need to do it doesn't matter which tab you're in but for the sake of progression um, you need to go to build project so um, build for PC select which wave banks build very important you click with well, music in this case LST is I'm not really sure what any of these do I think that lists um, just the names of the songs in some kind of text file or something but I have never seen a reason for it um, and then you just click build and for you and put it in the um, directory. So it'll take a while to do this, generally it takes about five minutes or so, and seeing as I am absolutely starving, I'm going to go have lunch while this happens, and I will see you in a short jump cut. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have had lunch and can actually, you know, think again without, you know, wanting to eat something, we, um, we can continue. Now, the, um, the mod has finished building, there were no errors, everything was fine. So, um, yeah. Now wherever your, um, your file directory that you put your music mod to build into is, you will be seeing this, music.fev and music.fsb. So, um, now that you've got these, you can start using these. Now, if for some reason these names are not music.fsb and fev, you do need to change them to music.fev and fsb. Now, from here on out, it's relatively simple. Uh, make a backup of this somewhere, so I'm gonna copy this over to my Bioware music mod. Uh, and I'm just gonna copy it there. Uh, now you've now you've backed it up somewhere. What you want to do is go to World of Tanks, and the reason you want to back it up is because um, you want to back this up because uh, when mu when World of Tanks updates, it will delete the music mod. So you want to put that back in the next mod. So it's very important you do back it up. So what you want to do is you want to take these. You want to go to your World of Tanks directory, wherever that is. So World of Tanks, you want to go into Res, Audio, and then you want to just drag and drop these in, and actually before you do that, what you want to do is you want to make a backup of your World of Tanks music. I already have backups of them, so I don't need it, but you want to make a backup of those somewhere in case you want to go back to the original music mod. Well, not music mod, the original <laughs> music. So, um, what you do, drag and drop these into there, 
do this for the next one conflict and move and replace. And there you have it, there your mute bot is mostly done. Now what you need to do, I actually um forgot to put this in the resources, but I'll put it in before I upload it, is you need a certain file. Now this will be located um, somewhere in the thing. Uh, let's just quickly sort this out. There we go. So that'll be located, um, I think I'll just put it there actually. So I'll put this just here in mod design resources. So what you now want to do is you want to go to World of Tanks, you want to go to your res mods, you want to click the current version for World of Tanks, so the latest version. So say you're playing some version like 9.7 or whatever, you will go, you'll do the same thing here. You'll need to create a folder called, so let's just go 0.9.7 or something. You want to go to, um, what would it be? Shit, so you go, you make a folder called GUI, and then you put this music events.xml into that. It's very important you do that step or the mod won't work. Did I get that right? Yeah, I got that right. Okay. So, that's what you need to do. You should already have that in there. If you have mods, you'll probably already have this GUI folder, but you'll still need to put musicevents.xml into it. So, I'm just going to delete that, because I don't need it. And, yeah. So, there is your mod now installed. All is good. And, congratulations, you have made your own music mod. So, now, we just want to go and test it out, make sure everything works, and, you know, ensure that it is all working fine. Now, if, in World of Tanks, if there's a, um, a special garage for an event, or um, something like that, or like the um, Fury garage, I'm, I think it's still, it may or may not still be in there. I had a mini patch of World of Tanks this morning, I haven't actually been on it since. But um, special garages like that tend to overwrite your music mod, which is kind of annoying, but um, it just happens. So, um, if you have a special garage and it's not working, don't be too alarmed. It'll probably start working once a um you know, once the normal garage is back. In theory. Anyway, sometimes it's weird, sometimes these um special garages they they overwrite your um your music mod, but you can just overwrite the overwrite again by copying and pasting them back in again. But um sometimes they just overwrite it and you can't, you know, tell it not to. So yeah, so now we're just going to um, we're just going to start the game up, and I will see you then. Okay, so um, before we go, I have just actually um, worked something out that you can um, say there's a special event on World Tax and it's replacing the standard garage music. What you can do is you can remove or delete these files and you will have your music mod working again because this overwrites the um the new audio files that you put in because of the world of tax event so what you do is you simply take these drag them or delete them i'd recommend dragging and dropping them somewhere for safekeeping in case you want you know that again or f or something like that better safe than sorry so if you do that you will now have your um your music mod working regardless, well, the garage of the music mod working, working regardless of any events that are running in game. Okay, so now that you've logged into the game, your music mod, if you're hearing what you put to play in the, um, in the, uh, login screen is running, your music mod's probably good to go. So, um, yeah, we'll log into the game now. You're hearing the um that Mass Effect 2 soundtrack in the background there. And we will um log into the game now. Okay, so now that we have logged in, you're hearing the music mod is running in the background. Assuming you deleted those few files I just put in that little mini segment, you should be um you should be hearing music, or if you know, you're doing this when there's no event on, you should be hearing it regardless if you delete those files or not, I'm not sure if they're really there or not. But anyway, so at this point, I mean, 
There'll be a little more testing to do. You'll need to make sure everything works in battle and all that, but it should do. There's no reason why it doesn't. If, it, if there is a problem, please by all means feel free to put something in the comments, and I will do my absolute best to answer it. Now, um, if the, um, if something isn't working or anything, I mean, I just said this, but um, just put something in the comments. Um, I'll, I'll try and get back to you. And, um, yeah. So, um, oh, everything you heard in this, um, in the background of the music mod, so I was telling you how to do it, this will all be in the upcoming Bioware music mod, as is music you're hearing now. That's, you know, from the finished mod in Garage, playing all that. The beautiful Dragon Age 2, that Dragon Age 2 theme, which I have been actually really enjoying the game lately, despite a lot of people don't like it. Um, I love Bioware games though, They're, they are amazing, their soundtracks are just the best. But anyway, um, so now you've got your music board, so congratulations. Um, yeah. <laughs> that is about all there is to it, to be honest. Um, you can make as many of these as you want. There's no limit to how many you can make, which is a great thing. So, um, yeah. I hope to see you guys on the next one. There'll be a video for the um, the music mod coming up relatively soon. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, guys.